All right, another one of my favorite books. This book is called The Second, The Signs of the Second Coming of Jesus. A lot of knowledge in this book. A lot of knowledge. Be ready for it. Be be ready. All right. So I'm gonna jump towards the middle. Jesus' second coming to earth. The subject of Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, second coming is clearly proclaimed in the Quran and our prophets. May God God bless him and grant him peace. Sayings. There are certain statements pertaining to this issue in many verses and hadiths. Evidence from the Quran. I will place people who follow you above those who are unbelievers until the day of resurrection. The first verse indicating Jesus' return is given below. When God said, Jesus, I will take you back and rise you up to me and purify you of those who are unbelievers. And I will place the people who follow you above those who are unbelievers until the day of resurrection. Then you will... All return to me, and I will judge between you regarding the things w- about which you differed. Uh, they differed. They differed on a lot of things. On the divinity of Jesus, they differed on the Trinity of the of the whole religion of Christianity. When to be when to be Christian, it means to be Christ-like and nothing else. So if you if you are 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 at, being or acting like Christ, Jesus Christ Himself, He was an amazing character. He's one of the one of the He's a He's an He's a mighty prophet, messenger of God. So yeah, God mentions that a group of Jesus's true followers will d- dominate the unbelievers until the day of resurrection. So if you really if you really love Jesus, then yeah, yeah, you're good. You are good. Jesus did not have many followers during His tenure. Or tenor on earth and with his ascension the religion that he had brought degenerated rap- rapidly over the next two centuries those who believed in jesus were oppressed because they had no per- political power therefore we cannot say that the early christians dominated the unbelievers in the sense indicated by the verse given above at present christianity is so far removed from its re- original state that it no longer resembles the religion taught by Jesus. Christians have adopted the mistaken belief that Jesus is God's son. Surely God is beyond all that which was falsely ascribed to him and incorporated the Trinity. Um, The Trinity is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit into their religion centuries ago. Given this, we cannot acknowledge today's Christians as being true followers of Jesus. We we can because some of them actually do love Jesus, and that's that's great. That's amazing. In the Quran, God states more. Um, God God states more than once that those who believe in the Trinity are in fact unbelievers. There are Christians out here who know the Trinity is is ridiculous and actually believe in Jesus Christ, and that's and that's great. That's amazing. It really is. Those who say that the Messiah, son of Mary, is the third of the three are unbelievers. There is no God but the one God. That is in the Quran is Surat al Midiyat. Chapter that's chapter five, verse seventy-three. In this case, and I will place the people who follow you above those who are unbelievers until the day of resurrection. Carries a clear message. There has to be a group of Jesus followers who who will exist until the last day. Such a group will emerge after his second coming, and those who follow him at the time will dominate the unbelievers until the until the last day. Exactly. This aside, the expression "then you will all return to me" at the at the verses end is striking. After relating that those who follow Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, will be superior to those unbelievers, God states that everyone, including Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, will return to him. Here is the expression is here the expression is understood to mean their death. This may also be a sign that Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, will die at a time close to doomsday after his second coming. And I completely agree with that. There is not there is not one of the people of the book who will not believe in him before he dies. That's a that's a mercy. Because the way people have messed up Jesus' name is ridiculous. And that is a mercy on to you from your Lord. 
in the in the Quran we read that there is no there's not one of the people of the book who will not die in him before he dies. Oh, oh I said that. Let me reread that. There is not one of the people of the book who will not believe in him before he dies. And on the re on the day of resurrection, he Jesus will be a witness against him. The people of the book are the children of Israel. The phrase there is not one of the people of the book who will not believe in him before he dies is very interesting. In Arabic, the sentence reads as follows. What in okay. I'm not going to properly read that, so I'm just going to skip right over it. Um, some scholars believe that him slash it in this verse refers to the Quran instead of Jesus. And so understood, understand it to mean that the people of the book will believe in the Quran before they die. However, it is beyond dispute that the same word in the pre preceding two verses refers to Jesus. I'm saying it's the children of Israel, and that's what I'm sticking to until somebody tells me otherwise. And on the account of their saying, we killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, messenger of God. They did not kill him and they did not crucify him, but it was made to seem so to them. Those who argue about him are in doubt about it. They have no real knowledge of it, just conjecture. But they certainly do not. They certainly did not kill him. OK, let's look up. Let's look at what conjecture means. Conjecture. Hold on. Give me one second. Five seconds. Okay, it's not trying to let me. Okay, forget it. Wait, there we go. All right, conjecture means a guess. <laughs> Literally a guess. Guess. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Suspicion, presumption, assumption, a theory, hypothesis. Yeah, all kinds of nonsense. This means you're not knowing. You don't know anything about it. You're just you're just talking. <laughs> Uh, God raised him, Jesus, up to himself. God is almighty, all wise. The word him, which is used in the verse straight after the, the above two, refers to Jesus, and there is no evidence to suggest otherwise. There is not one of the people of the book who will not believe in him before he dies. And on the day of resurrection, he, Jesus, will be witness against them. The expression, and on the day of resurrection, he will be a witness against them, is important. The Quran reveals that on the day, on that day, people's tongues, hands, and feet, as well as their eyes, ears, and skin, okay, testify against them. No verse indicates that the Quran will be the the witness during this event. If the f uh, first part of the verse is taken to mean the Quran. Even though there is no evidence in the syntax, syntax or the succession of, the, of verses for this, him or it in the second part would also refer to the Quran. To accept this, however, there should be an explicit verse confirming this view. However, the um, commentator Ibn Juzay 